Hey guys, so sometimes in a database we want to make sure that we validate our fields so that we have the correct information the first time around and very, very few mistakes as possible. So have a look here. Here in my Back to My Schools database that we're still working with, okay, here is my identity number field. It's a short text field. It is 13 uh, characters in length. I don't need a little at over there. I'll take that away. I'm not going to use an input mask. We'll do that in the, the next video. Uh, here I want you to see where it says required. Now, let's say, for example, that everyone who is entering the school has to have a valid identity number or they must have an identity number. Okay, very, very important. So here where it says required, it says no at the moment. I'm going to change that to yes. Now I could type it in like I've just done or click on your little drop down arrow on the right hand side there and you can choose yes from this. So that means that I cannot move on to the next record or to capture another record unless this record has a identity number. All right, let's see now the next one is indexed. I want to show you what that is. Indexed means that it commits it into a special uh, part of the database just to speed up searching for things. But I want to show you what the option is with index. So indexed, if I go here and I change it from no, I can say yes, duplicates okay, or yes, no duplicates. And because an ID number is meant to be unique, I'm going to say yes, no duplicates. That is quite important. So those two things I want you to be aware of in terms of required, making a field required that it has to be filled in, and indexed, yes, duplicates or no duplicates. If we're looking at a particular field that does not need duplicates or it shouldn't have duplicates, we just say indexed, yes, no duplicates. So here I am again in my class field and oh, I like grade, grade field, not class, grade field. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a rule and a validation text, a validation rule and validation text. What that means is I'm validating the data being put into this field. So for example, for this field, the only things I want to be able to be entered into this field are the numbers 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. That's it. That's all I want, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. So I need to make sure that people can only do that. Now, an input mask won't do that for me. An input mask just is for formatting how something looks, how it looks when it's entered, but it doesn't totally uh, validate in terms of the data that is entered in terms of the numbers that I have. So I'm going to create a rule over here in validation rule, there it is there. Okay, remember the default value was eight. We, we said uh, if we're doing mostly grade eights, but let's go. Validation rules. So I'm going to say it is between, between eight and 12. That's my rule, between eight and 12. So eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. That's fine. I'm going to click on validation text and I'm going to write there a little message to the user. If they type in something wrong, Please enter, just move my mouse, please enter a number, whoops, number between 8 and 12. So there's like a little message to them. Let's see how this actually works. All right, so I'm going to switch to my table layout, click on OK to save my table, go right down to the bottom. Whoa, that's too far. Go across a little bit to my grade. Right, here we are, grade. The default is 8. Let's say I put uh, 9 and I move on. No problem. So I put 11, move on. Great, no problem. What if I press seven by accident and I'm meant to go for eight, okay, and I try and move on, I get a little message. That's my validation text. Please enter a number between eight and 12. All right, so it worked. Take that away, take that away, take that away. There we go. Let's go back and just double check. Right, so have a look and see what I said. Validation rule between, which is an operator number, you know, like you get between, you get and, or, is null, all of those ones, okay, like is another one, so between 8 and 12, and then my validation text, a little message to the person to say, hey, please enter in a valid piece of data for this field.